What's up guys, my name's Cooper and I'm gonna walk you through the 22 Designs Outlaw X brakes. They come in four sizes. They come in an 80 millimeter, a 95, a 110, and a 125. Something to be careful about, they uh, don't always measure quite as wide as the number says. The 110's more like a 106 or 107, so something to keep in mind if you're picking some brakes up without being able to touch them. Um, You'll notice these brakes have a, a pretty aggressive plastic piece down here. Um, some, mo most of the time we end up kind of shaving off these little nubs there to create a little more distance because these outlaw brakes, we want to get them as tight to the ski as possible without catching because the tighter they are, the less chance you have of having them touch as you're switching legs in a turn or you know anything else you don't want your brakes to catch on. Get them out of the way as much as possible by having them tight to the ski. Um, I'd say about kind of 50-50 people who like the brakes or don't with the Outlaws. It definitely adds a little bit of tension to get your toe into the binding, which some people like, some people don't. There's definitely a wiggle to it that you learn after four or five tries. And people who use brakes, they say that it's super easy once you get the hang of it, you get that muscle memory. So definitely worth checking out if you really want to get that full step in in your Outlaw without having to bend down and put a leash on. The brakes are a great way to do that. And just remember, Air on the side of caution, go a little bigger than you need because they do measure a few millimeters smaller than they say. So there you go, Outlaw X Brakes.